guys, it's your girl Liz and today I am here to talk about Game Informer. Uh, it is so unfortunate that Game Informer is closed down, but you know, I feel like Game Informer as a company never really evolved. Um, they were, I guess in a sense, stubborn like me where they're just like, physical is the shit, which it is. And physical will remain, um, but you know, in today's day and age, that's not necessarily the case. And I feel like Game Informer as a company um, has been around longer than IGN, and I feel like they could have been their own style of IGN if they were to, you know, ha if they have started like podcasts or YouTube videos and you know, being like an IGN-esque kind of company. My condolences to everyone who lost Game Informer uh, after working for them for so many years. And uh, sorry that, you know, so many people have lost their jobs. Way back when I started collecting Game Informer, uh, there's like a massive difference in quality and, um, you know, size and importance. Uh, I feel like social media wasn't that big and you know the only way I would ever see like a new image or a new uh, anything that's got to do with something that I'm anticipating was only available in magazines and I used to hunt uh, not necessarily for Game Informer but just anything like I have a few magazines upstairs that I just bought for the sake of the artwork and that's the main reason why I have these is because I love the artwork I mean like look at Lara man like Oh my god, the irony guys, the fact that I am here in Australia and it's only been about 24 hours and then some that uh, Game Informer shut down and I'm in Australia, I've been in Australia for like a week man and the fact that you know Game Informer closed and I'm here with my Game Informers and I never ever thought that you know this, this would happen the way that it did. Uh, I could, I live in the US, I could have been in the US hearing about Game Informers and the fact that I'm here embracing them, I wanted to share this with you guys uh, because they did mean a lot to me. I loved Game Informer um, when they were good. Uh, unfortunately, I feel like quality wise it just went downhill and it wasn't uh, collectible worthy in my opinion. Um, and you know, for quality's sake and you know, the time that I was at, internet wasn't that dominant. Uh, or important and when I was young I used to buy video game magazines that had posters in them and I would just hang them all over my room So these were important to me. Uh, so in this video you guys I will be going through um, Just the artwork and the dopeness of Game Informer. I actually have a very decent collection I don't have all of them uh, Now for some reason I was only able to find from like 13 onwards um, but I'll just write down the issue somewhere in the video for you guys to know uh, which one is which and um, yeah I'm just gonna go through them and I hope you guys enjoy this video <laughs>
Now, for some reason, I can't find any of my issues in the 40s. <laughs> I've probably just put them somewhere or I could have just been overseas and not picking them up or collecting them when I needed to. Uh, so, no 40s. But here we are at the 50s.
to the end of my video. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have all of the Game Informer magazines, but gratefully, I am proud that I was persistent enough to accumulate the ones that I have right now. Um, I want to thank Game Informer for being in my life. I want to thank Game Informer for helping me get more comfortable with expressing my nerddom, my video game loving culture. As a woman back in the day, you know, it was different and Game Informer was just something that I always looked forward to when I went to like, um, you know, post offices and, uh, you know, magazine stations and like, newspaper stations just always would keep searching and lurking for any gaming related magazine and the fact that Game Informer was so consistent so professional and so beautiful I'm just grateful to have had the opportunity um, to to collect the ones that I did and you know again unfortunately Game Informer is no longer it has been shut down after 33 years but um, just thank you thank you <laughs> But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was enjoyable for you. I will see you in my next video when I'm back. Bye, you guys.